Hello, everybody. We back. All right, I'm doing my typical self promotion. Pay no mind to the kitties in the background. Promotion is beginning. Hello, happy Saturday, everybody. It's lovely to see your faces, even though I can't see your faces right now, but we'll get that fixed shortly. to see your faces. Let me know I'm on. All right. All right. Shameless self-promotion is over. Hello, you lovely human beings. <clears throat> it is so wonderful to see your beautiful faces. <clears throat> We're going to give some time, as we always do, for some folks to get in here. And uh, we're going to get going. Got my trusty caffeine. Yes. I have uh, the junior technician here with me tonight. <clears throat> He's going to be providing me moral support as I go through this very treacherous repair. And chat. And chat, yes. Also that. Out of the way. 
Two Black Ops 3. Yes. Switch. Yes, I still have to fix that thing. What's wrong with it? The left side doesn't work. I fixed the charging issue. How does the I fixed whole the whole left side not work? It just doesn't work. What did bro <clears> do to this thing? It's uh, no, I think I screwed it up. I think it's missing some solder ball, uh, solder joints Ooh. on the actual connector that I replaced. So just got to go in and do it again. Do it again. All right. So, like I said, we are just given a few minutes for uh, for other people to get in here, and we will get started on what is sure to be a fun and interesting repair. <clears throat> Yeah, if you're hungry, kiddo, help yourself. You got snacks? Uh, I got those almonds in there. You got Cheez Its. You got all kinds of stuff. You know where the snack thing is. Just go, go find some. All right. Uh, there we go. All right. So, yeah. Still got about three or four minutes. Before I get going here, just give some time for people to come in. If you're just joining, welcome. This is Roy's Repair and Resale. My name is Roy. I do repairs and resale, specifically on a lot of uh, gaming consoles. I do have some new stuff kind of coming in the works a little bit. It should be fun once I get for sure uh, the parts and the actual the uh, devices in. Then I'll be sure to bring them on live. It's going to be a lot of fun. Going to be working on some new technology that I'm not used to working on. Like so, the things we tried today? No, we're not going into the PC side of things. No, um, one of my friend's husbands has a Asus Republic of Gaming Ally handheld. The you know the Steam Deck? It's Asus is answer to the Steam Deck, and uh, it's like a $700 piece of device. But the uh, one of the thumbsticks is bad, so I'm going to tear it apart and replace the thumbstick on it. <clears throat> so that's going to be fun. You're okay. You try the other one? The wasabi and soy sauce? Yeah, that one's nasty. That's fart. It's one of my favorites. Um, it was okay. I haven't tried these yet. I like the Carolina Reaper one's better. Hmm. It's like a bacon barbecue kind of thing. It's alright, it's fine. Hmm. I got now, wait. Nope, back at 480. Oh, I was staying at 480. I'm seeing the speed low. <laughs> alright, probably about two more minutes and we'll get everything going here, guys. So, I realize no one's in here and I'm kind of talking to myself right now. But for anybody that's watching the video back, at a future date in time, I'm not crazy. I'm a little crazy. I, don't, I was crazy to do this in the first place. Crazy. But here crazy we are. <laughs> I'm in a room. A room. A room of rats. You guys think I'm crazy. Yeah. Did you post on Facebook? Yeah. Yeah, that's all. Just takes people time to get everything situated. And, and plus there's football on tonight. So. By the way, big congratulations to the Ravens. Hell of a game. All you Baltimore fans, y'all earned that one. That was, that was a rough going right up until the second half. And then... Dude, Lamar Jackson did Lamar Jackson things. That's Packers are losing. Hell of a game. Oh, the Packers are still losing. Yep. Mm. Well, that's going to be an interesting game as well. Second half, twenty seconds left. Second down. Who's got the ball? Um, looks like 49ers. Okay. But it might. Wait, let's find out. Let's see. Hurry up. Sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah, Nice. Alright, we are at the 10 minute mark. I don't care if nobody's here yet. And the cat's going downstairs. Oh, good. Oh, no, going down the stairs. Alright, so, as a reminder to any of you that uh, don't know the origin story of this PS5, I bought this PS5 off Facebook Marketplace for $100. <clears throat> 
Uh, it had a power issue. It was a known issue. I bought it knowing that it had a power issue. Um, did a whole bunch of testing initially. Couldn't find anything wrong with it. So ended up trying to reflow the south bridge to see if that fixed it and in the process broke it more. So I ended up reballing the south bridge and uh, that got it back to where it was and I was actually able to find the short on the board and it turned out that the SSD controller had failed on the board. So we are now going to reball the SSD controller. Uh, we're, sorry, we're going to replace the SSD controller, reball the new chip and uh, we're going to get that on the board. Work. Double check and make sure there's no shorts after the replacement. <clears throat> and uh, once that's done, then we're going to put it on the board. We're going to uh, fix the other side of the board that had the components that we moved off. And we're going to put the board in, and it's hopefully going to work. That's the goal. And fancy keyboard. Also, my son's gaming keyboard has been brought over. I was trying to work on his PC today. And... Uh, I'm not a PC technician. I'm a hardware guy. I, I can install hardware all day. Software? No. Nah, that's uh, not my thing. So, <laughs> so we're going to send that to an expert who knows way more about it than I do. However, in the meantime, let's go ahead and get this thing going. So... Alright, sorry guys. Alright, whoop. Um, That's fine. It's totally fine. Sir? Everything's fine. Pay no attention to the man behind the mirror. Ow. Why are you breaking my stuff? I hit it once, calm down. Okay. Alright, mm -hmm. so. Uh, Why did my iPhone break? Yeah. The microscope is all that really matters here, but here we go. So, here is the SSD chip. This is the replacement chip. I did not take off the original solder yet. I want to do everything on camera. So, here you can see that some of the solder balls are missing. Yeah, kind of big, some of them are missing. I already cleaned off the board. Hey, thanks, Sphinx, I appreciate it, man. So, yeah, the solder balls are still relatively on there. There's a little bit of flux still on here as well, not a big deal. So what we're going to do first is we're going to mix in some leaded solder with these solder balls and then we're going to wick everything away. Let's go ahead and get that started. So first things first, get some flux on the chip. Sorry, I'm going to take off some of this cat hair. This is the problem Damn. with being a cat lover. Damn. Occasionally you will have cat hair. Alright, so let's try this again. What was that? He's just having a move. Alright, so we're gonna... Oh, KV, okay. Put a bunch of flux on the chip to start off with, because I want to make sure that, that solder bonds, especially with some of those empty pads on there. I don't know, like five big flashes of white light. I'm like, what's going on? Alright, and we're gonna take some leaded solder. Clean my iron real quick. Put a big old blob on there. Come in and gently move around with the leaded solder. Tweezers, because holding that chip is a nightmare. It gets hot very quickly. Okay, here we go. To be honest, 
It's not the flavoring, it's the almond. Because the barbecue doesn't go with the saltiness of the almond. That's fair. I'm just going to keep on mixing the leaded solder all the way around this chip, being very careful because we don't want to A, destroy any pads on the chip, or B, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? We don't want to destroy any pads, and we also don't want to something that is escaping my mind right now. So that should be good. There should be a nice mix I think it's smoking. of leaded solder on the chip. It's bubbling. That's fine. It can bubble all at once. All right, and we're going to grab a piece of wick. No, I don't think that. Almond. Hit. Almond. Uh, there we go. Get my wick clip. grabbed a rather, rather large piece of wick because I feel like it's going to be necessary here. Where is the board? The board is under my desk. Well, where everything is. Alright. Now that we've got some wick. Clean off the iron. And he's going to take the wick. And he's going to wick up all this solder. Ooh, it's getting shiny. And again, super gentle. Don't want to rip any pads. It's getting shiny. And as long as your iron's hot enough. You don't really have to worry about the trying to like scrub over the pads or anything like that because as long as you got enough flux and a hot iron, that solder is going to melt right off. Just like that. Alright, we remove the wick. Voila! And we have a clean chip. Yeah. That's why it looks shiny now. Alright, so next. We're going to take a bit of alcohol and a Q-tip, and we're going to clean off the chip because that is way too much flux for what we're going to do. I'm terrified that one day I'm going to mix this up with water and it's going to be a game over. Almond. Best part of the stream right here. <laughs> go and so we're going to oops, careful there we go all right so i've got an alcohol soaked cotton swab we're gonna clean off this chip real nice like get all that burnt flux off of there so we can put fresh new flux coming with the dry side where is the water it's in the house Go. Grab some more alcohol. Come in here and really get a good clean on it. You want to try and get as much of that old flux off as you can to make sure that the new flux bonds to it. And you really don't need a whole lot of new flux. Like, it's the tiniest little bit that will do the job the way you need it done. Go. And I'm just gonna grab a fresh Q-tip and give it a good dry off once more. Yeah, that's fine. Still a little bit of leftover flux down there on the bottom. You can kind of see how it comes in the glare like that. Ooh, let's be careful not to do that. What? We do not want to scratch these pads. Oh, was he gonna use that side? No, my tweezers slipped. Oh. All right. Well, that should be more than fine. I'm gonna clean off the other side of this chip as well, and clean up the flux off my station here. Right. 
got enough stuff on the other side. So. As you can see, there's a little bit of loss on the viscous thermal paste as well. So I will have to try and recover some of that. It's not a huge deal, but I mean, it's there for a reason. So. Is it like a certain type of thermal paste you gotta use? It's a different kind than you would use on like the, the PS4s or the Xboxes. It's a different kind of, uh, it's more a viscous, tacky-like thermal paste. You have it though, right? I have leftovers from the other chip, which is what I'm going to use. Alright, so I mean, that'll be fine. Hey, Uber, good to see you, my friend. I ain't seen you in a while. What's hope up? everything's going well. I know you had the, the website issues and stuff, so I'm, I'm, I hope everything's back up and running for you. What's up, Uber? Uh, yeah, SSD controller reball and replacement. So, little quick backstory on it. Um, bought a PS5 for a hundred bucks. Uh, Reflowed a uh, South Bridge on it because it had no power. Ended up screwing it up. So, reballed the South Bridge. Found a short on the F7003 rail uh, and injected voltage. Found a short on the SSD controller. So we're going to, uh, I have a stencil for it, so we're going to reball it. We're going to put it on the board. We're going to make sure a short does not appear again. We're going to replace a few components and, uh, and we're going to hope and pray that this thing works. And? I'll awesome. I'm glad to hear it, dude. I'll make it. Okay. So stencil time. Yeah. All right. So. What is that? This is the stencil. I don't know what that means. That's fine. <laughs> I ain't that big brain. What do you think a stencil is? Um, what What do you understand a stencil to be? I mean, isn't like the stuff that helps you trace stuff? Yes, it's the exact same thing. Uh, but for components. but for chips. So here we have our SSD controller stencil. Yay! Uh, where the heck is my thermal or my solar paste? Everywhere. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a plane. Where is my saw? There we go. I got it. All right. Solder paste. So, chip goes there into chip holder, like so. What are you rushing now? It's very good. Are you rushing now? Yes. So, All right. Uh, this is, uh, so, when I mentioned that it's just a little bit of flux that needs to go, like, that's probably just about enough, maybe too much. So, and then just take your finger and rub that little bit of flux all over the chip. You do not need much for this job. I'm also going to try and get some of this glare out for you guys. Hang on. Almost. Almost. Okay. Pay no mind to the kitty in the background. Sorry guys, let me fix this up for you real quick. Hang on. But pay attention to this. Oh man. There we go. Alright. There we go. Okay. Is that a little bit better? That's a little bit better. Alright. Fantastic. Alright, so we've got flux all the way around. I'm just gonna give it another quick rub down just to make sure spread out nice and evenly all over the place. Tremendous. Let's go ahead and lift up a little bit so we get a better view. A little more. Right. Well, glare's back a little bit. It is what it is. We'll work through. All right. Now the chip is in place and has uh, flux applied, we will apply stencil very gently and we will manipulate said stencil to fit all the holes. To make sure there we go. Just like that. So all the holes should be in place and visible. Now I see some that are visible. But am I not actually am I? No, they're there. Yeah, maybe just there. Alright. And then we come in the paste. With solder paste. This is leaded solder paste. Try and get that in focus. Yeah, I just grabbed a little tub of it just to do some experimenting with, but it is leaded. And it is paste. And it is paste. 
the one I used last time. There we go. All right. So what we will do is, is nothing. take a bit of the solder paste here. That's probably a bit too much. All right. And we're going to start at the top. And work our way down. Ever so gently. Spread it out. There you go. And just keep spreading. It's like spackle. If you ever done any housework, it's literally spackle. Or spackle. I have not raised you well enough. Nope. You have not had to deal with the horridness of spackle yet. What is spackle, bro? <laughs> Someone chat tell me what spackle is. It's what you fix holes in walls with. Oh, like drywall stuff? Yeah, kind of. Alright. I'm gonna scrape off my spatula. Burgers now? And we're gonna clean up the mess. I'm gonna come in with the edge. And we're gonna scrape all the way down. All the way down. There we go. All the way down. We do not want a huge mess on here because we don't want bridge solder balls. There we go. See, these bottom ones are always finicky. That's why we keep spreading top to bottom, up and down. Go. I'm gonna move the glare so you guys can actually see what it sounds, what it looks like once it's all done. So I'm just getting everything into place. We're gonna keep that up to down motion, north to south, getting every little solder ball into place. I got a question. What's the question? Why is it always the south who's always about racism and communism? Oh, that's a, a conversation for another time, kiddo. I <laughs> know, oh, it's always the north, not the south. I lied. Except for 1788. Hey, Blinken. Okay. So that looks good to me from up here. So let me get a. Uh, let's get some of that glare out of there and show you guys kind of what it looks like. Gray stuff. All right, there we go. So you can see that you can. So you can see that you can see. So, oh, wow, really? <laughs> uh, you can see the lines in between. You'll see that every individual square has gray, has gray in it, which means that the solder has reached down to the chip and is coming up to the uh, the stencil itself. But you can still see the individual crosshairs. Of each square, so that means that you don't have to. You're not going to have to worry about any bridges, any solder balls coming together, anything like that. That is exactly what we're looking for. I lost my spatula. No. Oh no. That's fine. I'll get it later. I'll finish it later. Yeah. All right. So, for the most part, that looks pretty good. So we're going to come up a little bit. Focus in. Nope. All right, so I've got my hot air station set to probably too high. I'm going to come down a little bit. I'm going to come down to 450 at 30% airflow. That should be more than enough to do the job that we needed to do. And I'm going to see if we can catch on camera the solder balls forming onto the chip. Cause that's my favorite part. That's like technician ASMR right there. So just letting the gun heat up. All right, gun is at heat. Let's go ahead and get this going. 
try and come in over here. So I'm going to come in and just heat up the general area around the stencil and the chip because I don't want it to try to popcorn or pop up on me. Yep, I'm trying to do that now. start letting these babies get nice and warm there we go look at those little bubbles look how pretty that is there we go good. Let that cool down a little bit. Uh, well, there's one that's bothering me. Hang on. And there's one that looks a little bit off. Probably just needs more heat, but let's take a look, shall we? Maybe I'm just being persnickety. Uh, no, yeah, that's a little off. Get a little more heat in that area real quick. It's just slightly off, but I mean slightly can be the difference in a lot of things here, so. There it is. All right. It's in place now. They tried to uh, tried to pull a sneaker on me. But these eagle eyes of mine, not letting that happen. All right. So now we should be good. What do you mean you're blind? Yes, I am blind. That's the joke. <laughs> All right. So everything else appears to be good. Checking real quick, making sure I'm not missing anything. Nope, I think we are golden. All right, so let's see how hot this is. Very hot. Not very hot. Okay, let's go ahead and pop the stencil off. Stencil. Go. And yeah, minimal. It's kind of hard to see, but there is very minimal. There's some flux on the outside here, but and I don't want to get it too low without hitting the chip. But there is minimal travel under the stencil for the solder paste, which is good. All right. So let's double check the chip again and just make sure everything is in the right spot. chip around a little bit but I mean that looks beautiful to me I can't tell if that's a hair or a bridge hang on <laughs> it could be flux as well to be fair No, there's no bridge there. Okay. And what about this guy here? Yeah, that's just flux. Okay. Yeah, no bridge. I can't tell. It's bothering me. Hang on. That's uh, the last thing I want is to screw this up. So it's really hard to tell if that's a bridge or not. Right there? 
It kind of looks like it. Or that might no. Must kind of looks like a hair. Yeah, it looks like, but it's not moving. Try blowing on it. Well, let me put some alcohol down. Hang on. Hold up. Wait a minute. Yep. Sure is. It's not very nice. I mean, no, it's not. But... Uh, I suppose I can check to see if those two... Well, because they could be connected anyway. Hand me my uh, my meter kit. Here, I don't know what this is. My meter kit. Make sure your vape batteries don't come crashing down and explode. That would be fantastic. Appreciate that. If they did? No. Nope. Oh. Alright. Continuity. Let's just check something here. That might be a bridge. It looks like it actually do have a little metal piece right there. No, let's see that's Is it moving? Yeah. No, I don't think it's moving. I think it's uh they went down. There's alcohol. Um uh, yeah, but see then these two are are these two connected. I see I don't know the pin out on this chip. So yeah, and then those two, okay. So, and that could be still bridged and just unsh- Oh, there we go, okay. All right, well, I broke the connection, whatever it was. Hmm. No. That's right, I remember that. I was there. Were you? But no. Exactly. Okay, so, let's see if we can- Kind of dig out whatever this just, is. Yeah, Paula just scared the crap out of me. Yeah, she does that. I did. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they just came out of halftime. Oh, did they fumble? They did, but they got recovery. Let's go back to the multimeter probe since that's yeah. pretty much the only thing that wants to fit in okay, there. Challenge. Challenge the flag. I am. I am. Alright, well, it's not connected anymore. So. That's all I need. All right. Let's go ahead and give the chip a quick clean. Let's see what I bolt at. 7,000. All right. What's the can bolt at? 10 trillion. And where the hell? Yep. Mm. Right, so. Your mom's toothbrush. Oh, there we go. I think the toothbrush took care of whatever that obstruction was because it's gone now. Alright. Here we go. That is a beautifully reballed SSD controller. And now, time to put it on the board without taking the old one off. Old one's already off. Oh. Yeah. Time to put the new one on the board. Alright, let's go ahead and get this chip out. There we go. Don't scrape it. Very gently. Okay. I did. Move the stencil. Schnitzel? Save that for another day. I'm telling you, that stencil is a lifesaver, man. I am so happy that they came out with these because otherwise I would have just sold this board for parts. I'm, I'm never doing another manual remall again. <laughs> Did you try to? Yes, on the South Bridge, and that has less balls than this. Oh, no. Excuse me. Disgusting. All right. Which one of you? And here we have... Metal cooling. The board. 
What piece? Oh, I, I think I see the piece is missing. Oh, you can see some of the pieces missing. I see a piece. All right. What other piece is missing? It's on the other side of the board. <laughs> All right, now, off. there are a couple of traces that I'm concerned about on here, so before we put the new chip on, I do want to come in with a tiny bit of solder mask, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, get some focus in here. Let's get rid of some of this glare. Okay, so, where did I see it? Well, I mean, actually, it's, no, it's not as bad as I thought. Oh, I have a missing pad. Ooh, is that bad? I, yeah, that is bad. Okay, so I have a missing pad, which is a problem. Unless I can try to, unless it's just oxidized. Um, let me check, but I think that's missing. Yeah. And if I have to run a trace wire on that, that's going to suck. Does that mean oxidized means rusted, right? Yeah, it just means that the there's been oxygen on the pad. But, yeah, that is... Uh, is it? No, hang on. It looks like it's scraping. I gotta be really careful with this because it looks like there is some pad underneath there and I don't want to screw it if there is. Oh, that's okay. Nope. Wait, is that a touchdown? That is a touchdown. Green Bay just scored a touchdown. Nice. Yep, 12-7. I'm going for a one-point conversion. Yeah, and see, I think it's missing too, but I see remnants of, I can't tell if it's fully gone yet, because it looks like there is some pad left in there. Do they get it? And it is good. 13-7. Where is my... So like when I was moving it, no, that, yeah, that looks like it's gone. No, I don't have any magnet wire. I'm going to have to run a trace. God, that's such a small trace to run. That's going to not be fun, but that's fine. It is what it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's 100% gone, but I have my... Handy dandy. Exactly. So... Yeah. Well, hang on. What do you think? So, you think I just... No, because then the solder ball won't attach or it could lose the solder. You thinking I just scrape up the entire trace of the via and drop solder on there? Or do I, I... I feel like I have to run wire. I really hope not, but I feel like I have to. Let's take a look at the rest of them now that I'm concerned about that. Yeah. Alright, well, if that's what I gotta do, that's what I gotta do. Just checking to make sure I'm not missing any other pads. I think that might be the only one. But that's why I wanted to double check. Just that one. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get this knocked out. Yeah. 
Yeah, I saw that as well, and that's that's where the conformal coating part that I was concerned about came in. So, yeah, that's it. It is what it is. We'll make it happen. that up so I see what I'm working with. When I say this PS5 has been the PS5 from hell, I 100% mean it. <laughs> back on at least a little bit of the via as well. All right. I think that should be okay. Uh, kind of, but not really. I think that one should be the final touch. Yeah, that's better. All right, well, let's get this wire soldered. So first things first, we'll drop a little bit of flux on there. too much flux. It's fine. All right. Um, I may actually, yeah, let me swap tips real quick because this is a, this is a very small area and I've got my square tip on. Yeah, this one should do. some solder on there and now I need some wire man these small little wires are not gonna be pleasant but at least it's only one could be worse right guys could be worse please help me feel better about this Now 
Uh, first of all, I know that this wire is entirely too large. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Trying to get a lower grip on this thing. There we go. It's at least a little bit better. I need to get a much lower grip on this thing. <laughs> prop it against the SSD chip and use that as leverage. All right, so I think that's pretty well in place. We will test to find out for sure. Grab my straight tweezers. Trying to be careful not to take off any other pads while I'm doing this. Okay, no, that is not secure. All right, that's fine. We will add a little more solder and get it secure. Okay, oops, sorry. All right. Now, that is not obviously where I want to keep it, but I just need the, the wire to stay in place for a moment. <laughs> it's way too much solder that's on there right now. Okay. So that should be fine. We're just going to manipulate the wire into place. And 
this is where the knife comes into play. I'm gonna take this little edge off right here. You gotta be really careful not to break that trace. Same thing up here. Again, being ridiculously careful. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's part of problem number one done. I'm gonna clean up a little bit. See how small that little piece is right there? Mm -hmm. Just that little thing? That should blow the bathroom. Huh? That should blow the bathroom. That's fantastic. Get that foot caught in there. Okay. So, let's start with the conformal coating. Because there are a couple of places that need to have just a tiny bit applied. Stop breaking things. It landed up right. I get it. It's like a cat. So how can you break a wire? I mean, huh? cats, dogs, gerbils, guinea pigs, cutting it. Okay, so I'm gonna try and get a, just a decent piece of conformal coating on a pair of tweezers that I don't really care about. Is that the crappy ones? Yeah, those. Yeah. All that shit from McDonald's. Okay, I need to take the plunger from my flux and apply it to my conformal coating. Is it like a universal? It does the job when I need it to. But then you can't use floats in the at the same time. Well, I don't need to keep it in there. My conformal coating is being unusually unhelpful. Huh? San Francisco or Green Bay? Green Bay. Oh boy. So much time. It's gonna be the Bucks. Even Daryl's like, oh no, it's gonna be the um the oh wait. Who am I that out? He's mad. <laughs> you know, even Daryl's like, oh yeah, it's gonna be this, uh, the San Fernando. Like, no, it's not, it's gonna be the Bucks, bro. My, uh, my solder mask is not being cooperative here. Bear with me a moment, guys. Uno, momento. You just this want to come out? No, it's just not... Popping? Mm -hmm. It's not moving. Is it dried out? It might be. You got another one? Nope. So then this project didn't work with me? If it's not... No, it's definitely out? not. Just gotta manipulate. Yeah, well, I don't care if I do. Well, I'm, I'm, just like half. I'm honestly considering it. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, where'd my... There we go. Let's try this again. Try to move it up a little bit. Nope. Wait, maybe. Input HDMI too. Sorry guys, don't mean to uh, hold up the stream here, but my conformal coding is being ridiculous right now. I might end up having to actually cut the top off so I can use it. <laughs> well, let's see if I can do it. Hold a moment. Okay, there we go. Conformal coating seems to have at least cracked open slightly. So let's see if I can make some magic happen. I'm missing battery. What? Wrong remote. Use the soundbar remote. there guys okay I think I've got an opening where I can get some actual conformal coating on there now thank you for your patience something. Okay, there we go. Now we're in business. Alright, so. I'm going to find a couple of these. Yeah, see that, that little copper piece right there? Even that's too much, but it's just the starting point right now. I can move it as needed.
All right. Let's continue on moving the board. Let's not jerk the board around too much. All right, so a couple little ones there. Pay no mind to the dirtiness of these tweezers. They are shit tweezers that I don't use for anything, and so they occasionally get dirty. Once I've got most of the solder mask in place, I'll go ahead and you know, move it around and manipulate it as I need to but I need to just have it in general place right now. That one right there is going to bother me. Continue on. Uh, let's just, just for the fun of it, eh? It's probably fine, but what's a little solder mask between friends, right? Right. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, hello. <laughs> How you doing? All right. Like I said, I will move it. I'll move it with a clean pair of tweezers. Yeah, let's just go ahead and tighten that one up. And let's get that one as well. Yeah, so the reason for this conformal coating, and again, Uber is 100% right that this needed to be done. So if those solder balls were to go onto the board and there was that exposed copper right there, there's a good to fair chance that those solder balls would suck onto the copper and would lose contact with either the chip or the board. Uh, and it, the chip would, you know, all the reballing we did would be for absolutely nothing. So he's 100% right. It, it absolutely needed to be done. All right, so now I'm going to find another pair of tweezers that I don't care very much about. That I do care about, but I'll deal with that another time. All right, and we're going to go back through and we're going to maneuver the... Uh, the solder mask to make sure that it's not blocking the pads.
and we'll conform a coat the uh, the solder that's on the wire as well. Alright, so we're gonna just real gently kind of come in and scoot some of that off the pad. And we'll do the same thing from the other side. Just kind of scoot it out of the way of the pad a bit. So I'm just very gently trying to remove as much of that solder mask from the pads as I can. Because that solder mask will harden and then the, the solder balls on the chip can't make contact with the pad. And again, we run into the same problem. That's pretty good. Move on to the next section. Wipe my tweezers off. And then we'll do the same thing. Look real gently. Unfortunately, Q-tips are not real good here. They are way too big. So we're just gonna have to do our best. So we want the solder mask on the copper, but not on the pad. I think I'm going to spray a little bit of alcohol on the tip of the uh, tweezer here just to kind of help the process along. That's pretty good. Uh, that one above it is fine. Ooh, that one definitely needs a bit of a move, as does most of that one. Same thing there, we're just gonna scoot it off of that pad as much as possible.
trying not to move the main blob there because I already see it trying to go to another pad. Maybe I can do this very carefully with a Q-tip. I mean, I gotta be super careful not to suck up the whole thing. Yeah, it's just too big. Maybe I can, oh, you know what? I can tear a little bit of the Q-tip off and I can wrap it around the tip. of the tweezer, like so. Hey, there we go. Ingenuity, baby. All right. Okay. All right. That one definitely needs a bit of a move. Try and clean that pad off without removing the whole thing. It's kind of okay ish. Let's see if we can do any better. Like right at the tip is the problem. Okay, there we go. And continue up. All right, so that's good. Last bit of conformal coating I need is right there on that solder blob where I ran the wire. bit more. I need to get rid of that glare so I can see exactly how much and where it's being applied.
So we're gonna take it off the pad in just a second here. But I had to make sure that whole solder blob had some on it. I also need to manipulate that wire some because it looks like it's trying to run to that via. Where are my straight tweezers? There we go. Okay, we are just about there, guys. Thanks for hanging through it. Those of you that did. Let's remove that wire. Two tweezers. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, let's go ahead and get the solder mask cured. All right, we're just curing up the uh, the solder mask. Uh, the wire has been run to the missing pad, and I'm just curing up the solder mask, covering up those copper points that were exposed. So appreciate all you guys being patient. This turned into a, a more tedious job than anticipated, but these are the problems that you run into with uh, replacing these chips. So better to have it on camera, and you know people who want to do it can see the problems that you'll run into and know what to expect. this up slightly so I can actually let this thing cure the way it needs to. Alright, so we've got the UV attached. I'm just going to give that a few, probably less than a minute to cure properly. And we have to make sure it cures well because I have to put flux back down on the uh, the pads and you know, make sure that everything is uh, going to accept the solder properly. So let's take a look. Bring it back 
down. Maybe we'll use a little bit of hot air. Cause I can't, I, I don't think that's done correctly, but let's take a look. Let's see if it moves if I try to uh, give it a little touchy touch. No. No, all right, that's, yeah, that's cured. All right, and really the most important one. Let's check these two. Okay. I'll probably come through with a little extra hot air just to be on the safe side. Oh, I just pulled my camera out of its holder, so. solid. Okay, and let me fix my camera real quick. solder mask points cure up some. Why is there a flashlight on it? That's UV light. Oh. The solder mask cures with UV light. Hey, were you able to get it open? Huh? Did you cut it? Or you I cut it. it. Where'd you cut it? On the top? Mm-hmm. Fancy mouse. <clears throat> Alright. So UV curing is just about done. How do you feel about Peter Griffin being in Fortnite? Exactly. Why is it actually cold out here? It's cold outside. How cold is it outside? It's in the 50s. Huh? Yeah. You, got thir you had 13 views? Alright. So that should be good for the curing. Double check. That's not fair, bro. They're out there partying. Who? My mom, Daryl, George, all of them. Apparently, Jen hit her head. Sounds about right. Okay, yeah. I think you're missing some stuff there. Yeah. Good to go. Okay. All right. Now that the solder mask is all cured, the wire is in place, I'm going to put a tiny bit of flux on my finger. I'm going to rub it on in here. Oh, I don't have my plunger in. That would be helpful. Tiny bit of flux on the finger. And you want to rub it in. Right, it is in the 55s. Alright, so there's a little bit of flux on there. And then we're gonna take our chip. We're gonna make sure it's aligned properly. There we go. All right, so the way that we know it's lined up properly is in this 
corner down here, there's a little arrow. And we're gonna block it with your finger. Arrow matches up here. Just stops moving. Just gotta find the point where the chip doesn't want to move anymore. And it should line up pretty well with these corners here. Alright, so I'm going to check around the chip a little bit. Ah, so I'm running into a problem. That's why it's not sitting properly. Okay. Alright, so not quite there yet. There is too much solder mask right here. Or too much solder, one of the two. But it's not allowing the chip to, to go down as far as it needs to. So, we're going to try and come in. Let's clean up that knife a little bit. Last thing I need is more solder mask on there. Try and trim off a little bit of that solder mask. Well, unfortunately, I took damn near all of it off. But you know what? Let's see if it is the solder mask that's causing the problem or if it's the actual solder on the wire. If it's just the solder mask, then the chip should be able to go on flat now. chip. No, not yet. We're just getting into it, bud. Right. So, you missed a bit of action, but not the main attraction.
does not want to stay lined up. Smart way, sorry guys. I'm trying to make sure this damn chip is as lined up as it can possibly be. side as much as possible and see if I can make sure the solder balls are getting where they need to be. I don't know if it's going to work out too well. Yeah, it's not. surface tension does its job and I get this as close as I possibly can <laughs> right, so I know it's way off right now however we're gonna try and fix that That's about as good as it's going to get. So we're going to crank the airflow up. Now that this has leaded solder balls on it, it should fall into place a bit easier. I did put some plucks down. We're just going to hope for the best. the air back up to 480. Put a little extra flux down just to the side of the chip because I'm going to be heating up from this side which means it'll flow under and this way I'm not actually hitting the chip
go. Yeah, replacement SSD. I pulled it off a donor board. Take the heat off for a minute, we're going to let it cool down a little bit, and we're going to try and push the chip. If the chip pushes, I fucked up. I feel like that should have been more than enough time for the solder balls to go into place. Now, even if the chip doesn't move, I may still have fucked up. However, all right, chip is not moving. That is good news. All right, so what we're going to do now, I really need to find some replacement thermal compound for that. Uh, but what we're going to do now is let the board cool down a little bit more. And then we're going to flip the board and we're going to see if our short has reappeared. If our short has reappeared, I fucked up. Uh, Demi, what you did miss is that I had a torn pad on the on the board where the SSD was going so I had to run a trace wire from a pad to a via and then I had to uh, uh, conformal coat a few of the vias and cross patches that had exposed copper so that's why I'm concerned about shorts 
I need to make sure that my wire held and that it's in the correct place. I need to make sure that none of the solder balls decided to run off and join the circus. Now that's cooled down some. Let's just double check. Yeah, that chip's solid. Chip's not going anywhere. All right, let's flip the board and see if we still have a short. All right, so this is the area that we worked on previously. And let's see if our short has reappeared. So, multimeter in continuity mode. Oh, fingers crossed, guys. I, I, if this short came back, I'm going to be so, so very disappointed. <laughs> All right. Do we have a short? No, we do not have a short. All right. So the short is still gone. That's fantastic. All right, so now we got to do a little component replacement because I was silly and lost the, uh, I lost this inductor and I lost this dialogue IC. So I got to put those back on. But I have a donor board and the short is gone still. So that's very hopeful. So, first things first, let me get my nozzle on my hot air gun. And let me grab my donor board. So I'm going to take the parts off of it. So we're going to move the regular board out of the way for the moment. Set it right here for the time being. No, that's probably not best. Let's just set it right here. Okay. All right, and we're gonna go to that same area of the board. Oh, and I also got to get that fuse uh, because I didn't. I, I was stupid, and I was trying to work on other devices and didn't put them in a safe spot, and I lost them. So <laughs> that's uh, totally on me. Absolutely my fault. But I have replacement parts. Uh, Demi, don't let me forget because that fuse on F7003, I think it was. Hang on. Yeah. Remind me that I got to get this fuse. I think that's the fuse. Yeah, that's the fuse. Remind me to get that fuse. I have to get that. Because I gotta replace the busted one. Okay, where's my flux? Alright, so we're gonna take this inductor, we're gonna take this dialogue chip. Put a little bit of flux down. A little bit of flux down. part hopefully is done I don't like I, I really don't enjoy working with these small components but I mean I'll take 
doing a small component swap over uh, a huge BGA reball any day. Come on, inductor. Release. It's time to go home. It's time to go to your new home. Why are you being like this? There we go. All right. Inductor is safe. And now we grab the dialogue chip. All right, dialogue tip. We're running into the same dilemma here. It's time to release. Thank you, Dialogue Chip. All right. All right. And we might as well grab the fuse while we're here. Let's go. Flip the board. And we need that fuse. Right there. Yes, very much so. Oh, okay, well, let's slow it up. Okay. I thought that was the right one, but let's take a look. Alright, so if I'm flipping to that side of the board. You are 100% right. Yes, that is the wrong one. Huh? 34 seconds, Sam Brown's up by three, and they just had an interception. Oh, nice. Yes, good call, Demi. You are correct. That is the wrong one. Sam Fran's up by three, yep. and they just got an interception? Yep, so they have a ball right now. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. 30 seconds left on the clock. Thirty seconds left? Yep. Oh man, that's game. 
San Fran's moving on, baby. Gave him a good scare, though. Okay. So, yes. You are correct. The one that we need is that one. You and me both, dude. Eventually, I want to swap over to a full Hako set. I mean, it's nothing I can afford right now, but... That's the ultimate goal, because everything works together in tandem with the Hako stuff. So. Alright. No! I just lost my damn analog chip! All right, hold on. Hold a moment. Oh, okay, got it. We're safe, everything's fine. Okay. I have all components necessary. I'm going to retrieve the board. see we have a few components to replace here. <laughs> Let's get rid of some of that glare. All right so I think probably dialogue I see first it's gonna be my safest bet. I'm always losing. in the correct alignment. Okay. Actually, you know what? Hang on. We're going to do this the easy way. <laughs> I 
You're not wrong, brother. You're not wrong. <laughs> I swear, man. I, it's amazing. take this nozzle off yeah yep pin one is aligned correctly All right. I'm just taking the nozzle off because I need more heat <laughs> Nudge this just a tiny little bit, just a tiniest little smidgen. Okay, something like that should be fine. in your hole. Now, I'm trying to run from your destiny. Okay. Put a little flux down. Okay, let's do a little inspection, probably tidy up some of those solder joints, but it looks pretty okay. Let's get a little alcohol in there because I can't see a damn thing. 
But that looks pretty okay. Yeah, I mean, we'll tidy up the solder joints. I just really want, just want to make sure that everything's in alignment. I can add more solder. That's not a you know, huge deal. Good. And it's slightly off, but the solder's all touching, so that's fine. side. That's all good. All right, so we're gonna go around, we're gonna put a little more flux down and just trim up the edges a little bit, make sure everything's in its proper place. And there's plenty of solder on there. I'm going to clean up some of that uh, thermal compound that's on there. I don't want that to get in the way of the solder. Let's go ahead and get another spritz with the alcohol. Come in with the toothbrush. Right. We'll put down a little bit of flux here. Grab our soldering iron and some solder. Okay, so this is not getting the amount of heat that it needs to properly do this, so I'm going to swap tips yet again. Because I don't want those bridge pins to become a problem.
Some of these bridges are being extraordinarily stubborn. Yeah, my only concern with that is, number one, I'm not great with both hands, and number two, I really don't want to put a bunch of excess heat on the board. We'll double check it in a minute. I'll turn the board so I'm not being stupid and doing stuff with my hands that I don't need to be doing. Let's put a little extra flux down as well. That's better. All right. And same thing. Tiny little bit. That's too much. Okay, and final pass through, and then we'll double check to make sure I didn't end up bridging any of those. Okay. All right. Now let's clean it up a bit and do a double check. Yep, there's a bridge right there. We gotta sort that out. Okay. Those all look fine. Those all look fine. Those all look fine. All right, so just the one bridge.
tiny bit more flux down. Grab the iron, make sure it's nice and clean. Bridge is taken care of. What's going on here, Becca? What's the new left? New one solder and stuff. I like how it drops temperature so fast. Okay, yeah, I think that bridge is good now. Let's give it a quick scrub. Why are you breaking stuff? Let's do these component replacements. Come up a little bit. Solder bridge is the worst kind. It's really kind of old. Huh? Oh, no, you ain't cold. Oh, I feel great. My feet are cold. You got socks on? Yes. And they're still cold. Bedtime. Do, 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 do. So you add to end stream. Alright, so. Oh, I thought it was a two. No. Not quite so late. That's a lot of flex. Where are my tweezers. straight tweezers? Um, here we go. Right here. Okay. Straight tweezers that poke your eye all out. the air real quick. Yes. 440 degrees Celsius. That's a lot of degrees Fahrenheit. Yes. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is pop this inductor on. And then duck, 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 duck. Components are all in place. And just need the final piece. That fuse. Let's clean up this area real quick. Once we replace that fuse, it is finally test time.
I am nervous and excited all at once to see if this thing actually works. All right, let's flip the board. All right, that is the offending fuse. Just to make sure I know what I'm talking about. So, uh, for those that are still learning, as I did, because it took me a long time to get an understanding of how any of this works, uh, if you put your meter in continuity mode and you go on either end of the fuse and connect them, it should beep. As you can see, there is no beep, so the fuse is bad. This one I'm going to put my nozzle back on for because it's very small. And we're just going to put a little bit of flux onto the fuse. Low resistance. Uh, oh, so you're saying like a bad resistor? Bad fuse is off. Let's hit up those pads a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's that's fair. <laughs> Given the experience you now have with these, that is a fair assumption. <laughs> Tinned up. Let's grab our replacement fuse.
replacement fuse doesn't want to let go of the tweezers. Come on now, sweetheart. You got to go. Alright. We'll do this the not so easy way. Okay. Right, I'm going to move this up a little bit. Actually, yeah, it should be fine. Yeah, it's not fine. I'm going to try and move this up just a tad. Should be in place now. Emphasis on should. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that's kind of where I'm at with it as well. I think it's good now, but we're gonna just double check it here. Let's give it a little, a little tappy tap. Nope, it is not good. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try and tack solder it. All right. Well, we'll do it that way then. Trying to be difficult. No, I'll just I'll just solder them both sides. I don't care. It's fine. <laughs> we'll just solder both sides. Oh, that didn't even work. What? I need a little more solder. That's fine.
Yeah. All right, that worked. Okay. Let's do the other side. Poor child is back. Huh? I said boy child is back. Boy child is back. Focus. Uber. What are we doing now? Same thing? Just getting this fuse on. I think we just burnt it. No, it's just summer. Yes, hot tweezer, absolutely, required. <laughs> All right, that hot should be fine. Hot tweezer, by the way. No, hot tweezer is good, good for this job. That should be fine. The, designed by Apple in California, made in China. Oh, it didn't even stay. God damn it. All right, you know what? We're going to do this the okay. not fun way. It's the not fun way. So, now that it's got solder on both ends, though. Just hold it in place. No, we're not even going to hold it in place. We're going to move it in place. Close enough in place. And we're going to take this off. And I will not touch that. Flex. It's a fat drop. Well, apparently, it needs it. Air. Okay, so let's do this the correct way. Just want to burn off just a tiny bit of that flux. Boop, boop. It just burns that off. Yep. Tons of water. Okay. <sighs> Please, at least this end stay put. Okay, tremendous. That end is at least on there. I got some food downstairs. Okay, that's positive. N not in the thing. It's in the box still? Nope. Oh, good. It's, uh, it's in the floor. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, that's not ideal. <laughs> but one of the cats did it, use it because it's on six. It's on six cycles now. Yeah. Okay, let's add another blob of the solder. Got enough cord there, but. Okay. It's finally in place. 
and it's going to fall right out of place. I'm just going to add a tiny little bit of solder to this end over here. The camera's not being cooperative. Camera co-op of the rate. No! Came out of place, didn't it? It was fine! Cold. Like all of it was cold. Not cold. Not cold. Hello, sir. Lovely to see you. I think I know what's wrong. I'm having nightmares with a fuse at the moment. <laughs> I think I figured out what's wrong with this controller. Just listen to it. Hmm. I fixed the stick drift on whichever oh. one had the problem uh, last I checked. Well, that one doesn't have a battery. Nor is it connected to the... Yeah. Sounds weird. Well, I mean, it's also not connected to that Oculus. Which Oculus is connected to? I have a second Oculus. That's when? Since not too long ago. Which the one that has breachers on it? It's still the main one. Okay. I'm using hot air right now. It, I just... <laughs> You jumped in on the end of it, my friend, and it, it's been uh, less than ideal. But uh, no more stick drift, right? Okay. I think we're okay. <laughs> oh, I say that as I cringe inside knowing we're probably not okay. <laughs> Alright, so. This fuse will haunt me for the rest of my days. Now that looks okay. Please, for the love of God, stay put. Hey, it's on. All right, tremendous. Let's make sure it's good, shall we? <laughs> Hey, Booter, any chance you, uh, I mean, computer's in your name, so I can ask this question comfortably. Do you do PC work at all? problem. This fuse is not testing good.
Uh, I've got a question for you about that in just a moment here. Oh, damn. I uh, don't think that fuse is any good. I think it cracked. <laughs> That's fine. There's other fuses. I'm, I'm sure a fuse is a fuse in this case. Let's get a little alcohol on there and... Yeah, that fuse looked like it cracked. Alright, well, let's get a replacement fuse. <laughs> I'll just steal the one from... Uh, probably the one I was going to steal it from before. Alright, let's get it off. Yep, donor again. <laughs> uh, so, booter, old buddy, old pal. Uh, while I am removing this godforsaken fuse. Um, I am working on my son's PC. We just upgraded the, uh, the motherboard and the processor along with the graphics card and we are having nightmarish issues with this thing. Um, Yeah, so the problem I run into with nozzle is that it doesn't heat up the area properly. I have to use it without nozzle, otherwise it, it just doesn't get hot quick enough and then I lose it. I don't know. It's weird. Alright. Let's once again tin the pads. What do you mean by quick station, bud? I don't know all this fancy terminology. I just do stuff. Um, so with the PC, we swapped over from an Intel. So we put a, uh, a Gigabyte B550 motherboard in it and uh, swapped the... Uh, he was originally had an Intel processor, and he uh, swapped over to a Ryzen 9. And uh, before, he was running a 4060 on the old board with no problems. There was absolutely no trouble with it. Now, since we've swapped over to the B550 and the Ryzen 9 processor, Fortnite will just randomly crash. Uh, Valorant says that the graphics uh, drivers are crashing. Uh, despite the fact that we've downloaded them multiple times, we've used DDU to do a full wipe of the drivers and reinstalled the drivers direct from the manufacturer and still nothing. I, I've read that AMD drivers are crap, and that's probably the issue I'm running into, but yeah, you would know better than I. I am not a PC technician at all. <laughs> all right, F7003. Uh, I have not reinstalled Windows yet. I am trying to avoid that. Um, but if it has to happen, it has to happen. Uh, that is not a fuse. Let's find a fuse. That's a fuse. And that's a good fuse.
Yeah, I was thinking about that as it happened. Again, I'm, I'm no PC technician by any stretch of the imagination. Oh yeah, there was no tugging, Demi. I, I literally, I just wait for it to, it, it would just come loose. Yeah, I'm not pulling on it at all. Um... Oh, we're still working on it, but I have to replace a fuse that blew. And it's been giving me all kinds of hassles. So, no worries, 8-Bit. We're, we're, we're going to test as soon as this fuse is ready. <laughs> However, we did swap the SSD, and the short did not come back. So that is positive news. Um, yeah, with regard to the PC issue I'm having... Um, I was concerned with the the commingling of old Intel drivers and new AMD drivers, and like I said, I did a lot of research, and apparently AMD drivers nowadays are super buggy. But yeah, it's still something that I was uh, trying to avoid a fresh install on. But again, if it can't be helped, it can't be helped. And that's just the way it be. Okay. Oh, Damn it. Sorry guys, fuse got lost. I think that's it. Just double checking to make sure there's like nothing else that could be that fuse. I swear, I, these component losses are going to drive me through the wall, really. Okay, that it does appear to be the only thing that could be that fuse. If I can just get this goddamn fuse on here, we can test this thing. <laughs>
did not stay. We're going to put a little bit of flux down. I don't think that was the fuse. I think, uh, maybe, hang on. Nope, that's the fuse. God damn it. <laughs> I am having a rough night, guys. <laughs> okay. I don't know what the hell I just put on there, but it was not a fuse. Well, it's not the fuse. Yeah, it's not the fuse. I found the fuse. It traveled under the board. <laughs> That's probably an HDMI capacitor. God damn it. Now the fuse is lost on the fucking board somewhere. Oh. Dude, of all the things I have done tonight with the SSD reball, other, co other component replacement, this fuse is going to take me out, man. Tried and true finger method. Make sure it doesn't fly off the board somewhere. It doesn't look like it.
Alright, that fuse is lost. Oh, okay. We shall find another fuse. It's not a big deal. This is the last thing, and we can be done with this board. I have a donor board. It is strictly for parts. I was never going to fix it. It was not to be. All right, let's find another fuse. That's not a fuse. That looks like a fuse. Let's see if we can alcohol it and determine if that is in fact a fuse. Uh, no, maybe not. Probably a fuse, but it's in a different alignment, so I'm yes, directly into the sixth dimension. <laughs> I really need these hot tweezers, man. <laughs> like, yeah, it is a fuse. I'm concerned with the way that the letter's positioned, but I don't. Uh, if that doesn't matter, then because in the other one, the T was upside down this one's sideways i don't know if that's like sending current one way or the other i am not an electronics technician i'm just the guy who likes to fix stuff so <laughs> it's fine tremendous that's all i need here fuse is a fuse love it shut up damn multimeter Okay, I'm not losing this damn fuse. Set it down just a second so I can reposition it. I have my eyes firmly affixed to it. Okay. I like to gently discard the donor board. Bring over the main board. It goes right there. There's the microscope. Right there. Alright. Put a little flux down. Fuse is still firmly grasped. You guys are absolutely wonderful. I appreciate the information, genuinely. Please tell me that worked.
All right. Now, the real test, because I didn't test it before I pulled it off the damn board, is it a good fuse? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing. I, I just want to test it and make sure it actually is good. Okay, here we go. Yes, yes. Okay, fuse is on. Let's just take a look at the other side and make sure it's got solder tacked onto it. Yeah, that looks pretty solid. Yeah, that looks solid. Alright. I think we're ready to go, boys. I think we're ready to test. And girls, to be fair. Oh, man. It has all been leading up to this moment. I mean, yeah, that's fair. <sighs> okay. Man, this thing is dusty. That's how long I've had it just out in the open. <laughs> uh, all right. I think we are good to test. Woo! This thing has driven me to the edge of oblivion. I need a refill. Hold on. I'm just building tension, really. That's all this is. It's certainly not a horrible nicotine addiction that I really need to do something about. This is just to build tension. Okay. Here we go. board going back into chassis. Ribbon cables becoming connected.
Clearing desk area. Nah, I'm out of Florida, bud. There's some desk space. I'm genuinely like anxious and nervous right now. <laughs> All right. Where is my stuff? Where is my power cord? Heard the crackle of the power supply. That is positive. Ugh. And let's put an HDMI cord in just to be extraordinarily hopeful. HDMI cord is in. Okay. So, recollection, after we reballed the, uh, the south bridge, we would get a beep, but no light. I realize I'm edging you guys right now, and I apologize. Here we go. Oh, no. We are still down. Yeah, I've been meaning to get the, the code reader for the PS5, and, uh, and I just I haven't gotten around to it yet. Yeah, but other PS5 or uh, other PC problems going on. Yeah, no okay. crap. All right, well, let's test some voltages while we have it up. I think I might call it tonight just because it's already late and I got to go to breakfast with uh, with my lady's family in the morning, but. Let's test the voltages while we have it plugged in. Right. Just wanted to hope for the best. <laughs> okay. Alright, so meter is in voltage mode. Try and prop this up so you guys can kind of see it a bit. All right, so anchor the ground plane. Do we have 12 volts? We do have 12 volts. Do we have? Five volts. We have five volts. Just 
do we have 3.3? have 3.3. There is a 1.8 volt rail somewhere on this HDMI circuit. I gotta find it. That's five. It's nothing. Two volts. I know there's a 1.8 volt circuit somewhere on this HDMI circuit. So I've got 3.3 coming down into this area here. I got five volts. Yeah, I've got well, I've got the five volts running through that eight v that eight pin via that we had previously. So I've got five volts going there. That's the that's what I'm checking right now is that five volt. So this 5 volts is actually coming from the dialog chip. Find it again. Hang on, let me try and get this under the microscope real quick, guys. This is going to be so much easier if I can get it under the microscope. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, let me check my camera battery real fast. Oh, camera battery is totally fine. All right, we're going to unplug the camera, a.k.a. my cell phone. And we're going to get this under the microscope. That's terrible, dude. Trying to fix one problem and end up with 17 more. All right. 
let's go back to the microscope. Alright, I'm going to try and make this just a tiny bit bigger and I'll try and keep you guys in focus. This way you can kind of see the voltages. the voltages. Okay, so this is the area in question. That's the area we just worked on. Let's go ahead and plug this in. Actually, before we plug it in, let's see if the short's back. Because if the short's back, then I probably blew the SSD controller again. So, we had shorts here. Okay, no. Okay, no, short's not back. Take it easy, Booter. Have a good one, man. Thank you guys all for sticking around and stuff, man. Uh, it's uh, This has been a, a ride and a half. All right, so. Let's go back to voltages and let's get this plugged in. The short has not returned, which gives me hope. I don't know how much hope, but hope. Okay. Short out my leads real quick. Okay. Anchor. Okay, so right here I have that's my 3.3. And right here is the 5 volt that comes onto the other side of the board. So let's grab the donor board so we can. So we can check the other side for purposes. Did you know you can get free monster blade and sorcery? What? You can get free monster blade and sorcery? I believe it. <laughs> that game is so fun now. We're here running around with a freaking lightsaber, a Glock, and a scar. That sounds about right. What the world is that? It's the thing of my nightmares. Why do you ask? Okay, so, just for reference... That's what it's supposed to look like. This is that fuse that we replaced. This is the donor board. But this is that fuse that we replaced. And that's the 8-pin via on the back side of the board. Which is right here. I think we're missing that. And that is where I have 5 volts. Uh, I should have 5 on the 2.2 ohm resistor top side. This one right here. I should have 5 volts on that. You ain't getting no volts. Well, I haven't tested it yet, silly boy. Fantastic, boy. You get yep, 5 volts. I got 5 volts into the resistor. I am concerned about that dialogue chip for sure. Because, yeah, some of those solder joints don't look fantastic, do they? Oh, yeah, those look horrible. You know what? Let's re solder the dialogue chip. Maybe that's it. Is it passing through the resistor? Let's take a look. 
So, just to verify, I got five coming in. Yeah, it's passing through the resistor for sure. Yeah, those solder joints on that dialog chip do not look great. Like, those look okay. But those look awful. Let's move over a little bit. Those look kinda okay-ish. On the output side, well, so if that's the input side, this has got to be the output side, right? <laughs> Let's see. So uh, this pin, I uh, have five volts. Let me anchor this real quick. Alright, 5 volts. Try to power it on. No change. Pin over, nothing. Next pin over, nothing. Next pin over, nothing. That's another five volts. Oh, well. Yeah, that is not the output side then. All right, let's move it on over. Okay, so that is the output side. Okay, so starting with this pin. We got no volts. Next pin over, five volts. I mean, it drops to the very, very littlest bit, but not much. Well, when I turn it on, that tries to pass 12 volts, it looks like. I think that was 12. <laughs> No, passes Yeah, they're all getting voltage passed through. All the inductors have voltage going through them. Uh, 
Uh, okay, so... Well, then... Well, this one does not have that voltage. That one has about 0.8 before it drops. This one, I think, has the same. Uh, 1.2. Yeah, there's 0.83 coming out of the chip on the pin that runs to this inductor. Actually, that's not running directly to the inductor. That would be like right here. not dropping. Not much anyway. Alright, so what are you thinking? Either possible bad dialogue chip or solder joints on the dialogue chip? Yeah. Alright. Alright, let's take a look. Let's get that dialogue chip off. We'll, uh, we'll do a better job. I don't know about reflowing it. I'd prefer to just tin up the solder joints and we'll do it again. Could not hurt to just do it again. I've already done enough. Again, the fact that the short is not there and we're getting the proper voltage is telling me we're on the right track. <laughs> it's just a matter of getting it all done correctly. Alright, so what we're going to do is take some of that glare off first and foremost. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove the chip. We're gonna tin up the uh, the pads, and then we're gonna reseat the chip again. Dialog chip is off. All 
And you know what? We'll tin the pads on the chip too, just for the hell of it. Give it a real good bonding. Yeah, Demi has been a huge support to my channel and genuinely just a good friend. I mean, uh, like, uh, there's been so many times that uh, that I've just wanted to give up on a console, and he just kept pushing me through it until we actually got the damn thing working. So yeah, I mean, Demi is a uh, Demi is the man, to say the least. I gotta turn this board. <laughs> Let me just move the chip out of the way real quick. No, no, I lose it there. Go there. Okay. Board over. positioning so I know what is what all right let's grab the chip to the chip.
Need more flux. Uh, donor board was an APU fault. I bought it knowing it was an APU fault. I just needed a donor board. Yeah, I know, man. It, like, honestly, if I looked around my desk and actually cleaned for once, I would probably have it fine. Alright. I mean, worst case, I can always try and find it again. It's, yeah, I, it would take me a little while, but I could probably do it. But again, this one seems like it's doing all the things it's supposed to, so other than putting out the correct voltages on some of the rails, but even that was, you know, it could have been just shit solder joints. That should be okay. So if the gun get hot, move this up. Yes, circling motion is happening. Make sure it's tacked down in place. Yep, it's not going anywhere. Alright. We'll give it the push down. Fuck 
Okay. Let's check for solder bubbles, which I do believe I saw at least one. Solder joints do look a whole hell of a lot better. A whole hell of a lot better. Mm, actually, the chip seems misaligned now that I'm looking at it. No, that's that's okay. All right. Yep. Let's go ahead and let's tighten up the solder. Those solder joints look way more acceptable to me. Let's, uh, let's clean it up a little bit. A lot better. Where's my toothbrush? Okay. Let's see what we can get around some voltages, huh? Lift. You know what, I also, when I tried to turn it on, did not have the APU screw, the, the APU clamp on. 
I wonder if this whole thing's for nothing. <laughs> I feel like it probably would have turned on anyway, just to yeah, be on the safe side, but let's put the APU clamp on. <laughs> APU clamp is affixed. Alright, let's test some voltages. Alright, so we go back to problem area. Right now. Got power. Let's check to see if we have any voltage difference when I try to turn it on. Let's plug this back up. Boop. Verification purposes. We have 12. We've got 12. We've got 5. We've got 5. We've got 3.3. 3.3. Alright. I'm just testing a few other points around, just so I have an idea. Okay, so... Alright, so we got this. Yeah, same thing, 0.8. So, but it is sending voltage out. See, I've got 3.3 on this test point when I press, when I try to turn it on. This is 1.2. So this point here follows the trace directly over to the SSD controller. So. This test point follows this trace, which leads right into this S the SSD controller. Yeah, and it's sending 3.3 into the SSD area right here. Yeah, so 3.3 is going all the way. Um, I, I guess we can try that. I'm just terrified because of that wire I had to solder. 
Yeah, I mean, I guess really that's the best option right now. Yeah, because it's got voltage going into the actual controller itself, so... And there's no shorts where we had shorts previously with the bad SSD, which leads me to, lead, to believe it's good. Maybe there is just a crap connection on some of them. Well, let's take off the APU clamp. Alright, so yeah, I mean, this is probably going to be the last of it tonight. We'll give it a shot. We'll we'll reflow the SSD controller. SSD controller.
Alright, so I had a nudge. We're gonna let that cool way, way down. Yeah, I mean, all that positioning looks right. Definitely in the correct orientation. And it looks like it's positioned right on all sides. So I mean, I feel like that's in the right spot. We're going to let the board cool down just a bit more. Just me, or some of those solder balls look a little wonky. Hang on. Oh, never mind. That's just flux. No, those look okay. Yeah, those look okay. Still not working properly. Yeah, I mean, those all look okay. My bad. 
mic and my legs hurt. Look at that. No, multimeter. Plug this in again, make sure we still have all our voltages, make sure we don't have a new short. So how long have you been working on this thing for? Too goddamn long. Like almost a few months now? And here, this is a PS4 to sell. Huh? This is a PS4 to sell. I have to fix it first. I think it needs a new HDMI chip. A chip or? Chip. I've replaced the port three times, and it's still glitching, which leads me to believe it's probably the chip. Or a filter. Could be a filter. You know, I was sending people to the moon. Okay. Time to make sure it works. Alright, go right back to the problem area. I didn't order anything, it's a bad return. Alright, so, we go into the power supply. Into the HDMI port. Turn on voltage. Do we have the power? Okay, so, again. Oh, yes, that's the correct. Okay. This up a bit. Yeah. Okay. Do we have 12 volts? Nope. Yeah, we got 12 volts. Solid. We got 12 volts. Do we have 5 volts? We do have 5 volts. We got 5 volts. Do we have 3.3? We do have 3.3. Actually, we have 3.29. Actually, sir. Well, 12 volt. Well, that's 12 volt. 10. No, that's something else. I'm just checking random voltages, guys. Sorry. Hang on. 12 volt. That's 0 volt. Okay, so we know we have all the voltages required. Are we still getting the power? Okay, we can put our test point there. Six, two point three. Three point three. Still nothing. So still no good. It's our short back. Yep, short's back. Yep.
Short is back. What does that mean? Yep, short's back. What does that mean? I mean, something screwed up. But the question is, what was it? You'll find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Oh, the rage, the rage. I miss the rage. Alright. So, somewhere along the line, something got messed up. You will find out what it was in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. And, uh, I don't know what it is. But I really don't want to spend money on another SSD controller. Yeah, we. I, well, I told you. I think what it is is I had that. So there was a missing pad on the motherboard, and I had to run a wire to it. And I think that uh, when I was either heating it or did a reflow, I don't think the wire stayed on. So no wire. So I think the wire is probably what's causing the issue. But that is a problem for another night because it is late yeah, and I got breakfast in the morning. <laughs> Wait, we got breakfast in the morning? No, I had breakfast in the morning. Ain't no way you're getting up early enough. Not early. 8.30. <laughs> yeah, funny. All right, y'all. got to pretend today. Okay. All right, well, win some, lose some. This is probably going to get chalked up to a parts, you know, just sell it for parts. Um, yeah, there's not much more I'm willing to do with it, and I don't want to buy another SSD for a part that has a missing pad. So I'm probably just going to call it on this console. But, not to worry. Uh, I have a... PS4 that needs an HDMI chip. I have an Xbox Series X that still isn't displaying, and probably Switch. next week I'm gonna have an Asus Republic of Gaming Ally handheld, the the Asus answer to the Steam Deck. Um, I haven't seen a whole lot of repair videos out there for them, so I'm gonna get one of those in and do a thumbstick replacement on it. So that'll be a lot of fun. And Switch. <clears throat> no, no, the Switch I'm gonna do on my own time. No. Anyway. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Enough is enough with this damn thing. <laughs> so thank you all for coming and hanging out. It means the world to me. Be sure to subscribe, share it with your friends, leave me a comment, do what I'll, do all the, the youtube -y things that I feel weird even saying. <laughs> uh, Demi, as always, thank you for all your help, dude. And Booter and uh, uh, Crush, everybody who came through, genuinely, thank you guys for coming and hanging out. You make this so much more entertaining and manageable. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I'm going to bed. I'm tired. Good night. Love you guys. See you next week.